Three, two, one. Fire in the hole! Oh, whoa, hold on. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We are under a T Rex's butt. Uh, yes, we are. Thumbs up for starting an episode in a new place. Yeah, I tend to have my places that I like to start them, but I was like, hey, why don't we start this episode? With all of our dinos in here. Oh yeah. Okay, so today we're going to get into some new action. Some things we haven't tried out yet. Uh, yeah, I want to try out cannons. Yes, cannons. I want to shoot them cannons off and see what they can do. And there's something else I want to do. What could it be? Do you know Ike? Do you know what else I was going to do? Oh, okay. That That's what you think? He says we're going to look at a catapult as well, but not to shoot him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't shoot you, Ike, you freaking weirdo. You're a weirdo. Yes, you are. Okay, so I should have the materials I need to build them on me already. That's why if you look down there, I am quite encumbered. We're going to just head over to our workbench. Ooh. What's out there? I can't. We can't tell anymore. Oh, it's a it's a packy. I can see him right there. Yeah, they made it so you can't see the names of things through your walls now. Uh, that's been for a while, but wow, one of those uh, treasure those uh, quest boxes is right outside our building. It's kind of loud and annoying. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Cannon, like so. You take. 20 iron ingots, it takes 50 leather, and 20 chitin. Craft you up, like so. Make up as much, let's see, we can make 8 of them right now. That should be a decent amount to test this guy out on. Uh, how heavy are you guys? 20. That's kind of heavy. Alright, um, I should probably wait till I make... The catapult, catapult, I didn't grab wooden fiber, or enough of it, I should say. And a lot of times when that happens and I'm down here, I'm like, hey, I don't want to just walk upstairs, grab some fiber or some wood. Because, hey, look, there's usually some wood here, and, you know, some fibers, come on, right there. And I'll just kind of do a little quick walk around the base, enjoying it. And uh, while I'm doing this, I want to make sure to let you guys know that I hope you're having a great day. My day is going quite well, and I hope you're excited for another episode of Pixar here. Let's see. It's it's the nighttime. Gotta love the base of the night. Look at it. All lit up and awesome. I need to figure out some lighting for our new towers here. Not really sure what I want to do with it yet. I might go ahead. I might do something like have an episode where I uh, make what are they? The wall torches and light that bad boy up with those all over the place, outside and inside, because these towers could uh, use some love in the color or in the lighting. There we go. Words and stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's in the morning for me making this episode. So, brain, not so happy brain. Okay, did I maybe get enough stuff yet? If not, we'll just head upstairs. That I just show you guys. What I'm thinking is the next season of Pixar, that when it comes to my base, I might just replace the entire ground with stone so that nothing can grow in it. And then if I want to make walkways, I'll just take out the stone and make whatever type of thing I want for a walkway and go from there. Because though I do like having materials easy to access here, like grass and trees and stuff, they can get really annoying 
really fast. So yeah, that's an idea. If you want to clear out a space and make sure nothing grows, just uh, tear out your ground blocks and replace them with stone. It shouldn't be a problem to find stone at all. You'll start throwing it away eventually. Okay, so Kata, Paul, looks like we didn't get enough fiber. We are almost there. Good, good, good. We might as well just run back out because that is not a lot of fiber left. We just need 18 of it. So, show me a berry. Hello there, berry bush. Okay, there's six of it right there. Anybody else hanging around? Oh, there's, there's a guy right behind our dodo thing. Which I never showed you guys this, I don't believe. I don't know if I did. I put it down uh, between episodes once. Totally forgot about it. And not sure if I ever showed it. Basically, this thing is cool and awesome. And produces... Uh, dodo eggs for you like crazy like tons of them and right now from what I know like a lot of the creatures in the game can tame with dodo kibble some of just the more special guys use other things but dodo kibble is very very good that's probably why they have this dodo nest device in Pixar good 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 let's see one more berry bush yes there you are Right there. Delicious. That should be more than enough, I hopes. Me, Don, hopes it is. Okay, right over here. We should be able to make this guy right now. Catapult. Catapult. We have done it. The catapult is built. Oh, yes. We will put you. I'm not sure if these guys can be picked up. So I think I'm just going to put them outside the gate so that we're able to find things we can actually shoot at to test it with. I'd love to put it on top of uh, between our towers on the walkway up there. But if we can't pick them up, then it would really suck because it's going to be hard to find things to shoot at. Okay, so yeah, I have all these materials to put away. I think I'm going to go ahead, start putting things away so that we can carry the rest of our... Uh, cannon balls and I will bring you guys back when we're outside and ready to start checking these guys out all right I will be right back all right we are back and we're on top of the little train station area that we have out here and we're gonna go ahead and start checking these guys out we got the cannon oh whoa this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it would be that's what she said oh wow that's crazy big. Put you right there. We have done it. We have put the cannon down. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. I, I just kind of want to put myself in there and get flung clear across the world. Let's do it. No, I, I, that would be awesome if you could in multiplayer. Uh, move right. Oh, yeah. Let's try and see if we can aim for the trike, like so. It'd be nice if they had an easy way to aim this. Can you not go any further? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Uh, move down. Okay. Can you move right anymore? It can't move right anymore. Can we pick it up? No, we can't. Okay, I highly doubt we're going to hit anything. Let's go ahead and just load it up. We can only put one in at a time. Okay, you guys ready? Fire in the hole! Uh, what? Did anything happen? Do we have to actually, do we really have to fire it from in there? That would be kind of, okay, good, we don't. We can actually watch it. What was, oh, okay, that's that. Nice to know. So, let's, ready, aim, and fire! Okay, well, that's not going to be hitting anything. Let's move you down and down. And fire in the hole. 
Oh, whoa, hold on. 699 damage! Oh, that is... that's awesome. That's pretty good. I can imagine this is a lot better to structures. Yes. Let's come over here with the other guy. Oh, wow, look at him. He takes up a lot of space. He takes up this entire area, so it's kind of perfect. And we will place the catapult down right here. Like so. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Mount catapult turret. What do we need to make it? Rock and iron. Oh, wow. That is a lot of rock and iron. I saw a... Yep. A raptor over there. You're okay, little buddy. J just be a, be a nice guy. We're going to go ahead and hop inside real quick. Grab a stack of iron. Grab about 500 stacks of stone. No, no, no. I, not really. I wish we could really hold 500 stacks of stone. That would be amazing. Maybe if Pixark ever adds in working gathering rates, then uh, I will be able to have that kind of weight. Because we would, in the enhanced series that I have planned, I'm just waiting for uh, actual working gather rate settings. Good, good, good. So we need iron. Like so, grab one of you. And then I put my spare stones. Didn't I put my spare stones in you? I thought I put... Okay. Did, did I not? I was pretty sure I put spare stones inside of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're rock. I keep forgetting that their name is Rock. Hello, my Rocky friends. And it has to be made inside of that guy. So let's head out and do that, shall we? Okay. Good, good, good. Just right back out here. Man, our base has really been coming along. If you guys look back to, what, episode 3, which is the first one we came in here... This place was a lot different back in the day when there was pretty much nothing here. Just uh, an open field that we spawned into. And we have done quite a bit to it. Okay. So we did, what was it, like close to 800 damage with the cannon or something? Something like that? Put you guys in here like so. And craft. Looks like you have to craft one at a time. We can make 12. Okay. A massive rock with metal spikes can only be used in a catapult turret. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't want to use too many on uh, creatures because I do want to test this out on... Um, what's the word? On structures. Yes, uh, both of them out on structures because I'm pretty sure... That is one of the things they're very much good for. Let's see, can we shoot you? Uh, no, you're moving too quickly. I want to find something that will be... Okay, the trike. Can we shoot the trike from here? Um... Huh. We have to do something special with you? Okay, that's there. Left click doesn't do anything. R to reload, no. Left click, no. Uh, it's not working. How... How do we shoot it? It doesn't say. There can be... No thing. What? Okay. Not sure... Why it's not loading. It shows one in there also. Come on. Oh. Hello there. You zombie. You zombie bastard. Okay, come on. I'm trying to click with all my clicking power. Oh, wait. There's something there at the bottom. It's, okay, that's just 12 ammo. It doesn't tell me what to do. Yeah, this is this is weird. I can't figure out how to, how to shoot it. Can... no... No, just pushing, like, all the number keys. Pushing anything I can think of to try to get it to work. Huh. Control, alt, middle button? No. This, this is weird. 
Is it broken? It it might be broken. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that in a moment and try it again. But one second, we're going to go grab some building materials to check out this cannon while we wait. Close you. And just a little small trip inside the base here. Okay, building materials. I think we might just trade out on stone. Stone materials? Let's see, because we do have a lot of them. Let's see, foundations or floors. Can't remember what they're called. Yep, they are foundations from you. And then get some walls. Like so. Yes, yes, yes. You are correct, sir. We have done it. We have grabbed those. I'm doing I'm speaking it like uh, it's some um, big accomplishment. I know. My head is being weird. And I just fell into that deep puddle. Okay. Let's hop out here. That guy did close to something like 800 damage when we shot it at a creature. The big fun now will be seeing what this guy can do to structures. So, let's put a little makeshift... Okay, you're just, you're just stone. You're not the droid I'm looking for. No, you aren't. Okay, you, 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 and you. We have those. Now we'll just put a little bit of wallage up like this. Pro just a little bit higher. We want to make sure that it's big enough of a target. So it's not too much of a pain. You, like so. It's always fun trying to place blocks when you have the spring boots on. So that should hopefully be big enough to shoot at. Come on, spring yourself up there. Let's probably raise you up just a touch. Make sure you are loaded with a cannon. And, okay. Going back here. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Fire in the hole! Oh, whoa, hold on. That just completely annihilated it. Like all the walls. Just in one hit. Uh, it, oh, how many, let's see, how much HP is one of these walls? You are 800, so not too much of a surprise. Let's see, shift, pick up. Maybe, let's see if we can maybe get, oh, I know what we can get. We, ha we still have that leftover dark wood. Let's go grab some of that dark wood, which we know has some really high HPs. And see what the cannon can do to that. Because if it can punch a hole through dark wood in one hit, oh, wow. That thing would be amazing for PvPing. Okay, get rid of the wall. Go in here, grab walls. Okay, good, good, good. We have some dark wood right here. Alrighty. So, if I haven't said it yet, guys, I hope you're having a great day. My day is going quite well. And I just remembered that between episodes I finished off filling all this water in so that we have a good path over to uh, to our towers here. Good times. I am loving them so much. Okay, right, nope. Uh, Pia, like so. Make sure you are loaded up and ready for action. Come over here. And put in some much, much better walls. Like so. 
Okay, good, good, good. Now that I have that one set up, it will be much easier to put the other guys down like this. And I will remind you of what... Okay, the HPs are 5,000 for the dark wood walls. Just so that we have a referencing point for how it all works. Okay, you're all loaded. Okay, so cannon test with dark wood walls beginning now. Fire in the hole! Okay, so definitely did not destroy them. Oh, wow. So just about 900 damage. So it would take quite a few more to punch a hole in it. But I want to try it out. Let's uh, go up here, load another one, and fire! Okay, it took out it took out the floors. That makes sense that it finally would do that. Let's keep loading it up. We might not have enough cannons to finish it off. And fire! Okay, yep, we did not have enough of them. Yeah, two more cannons and we would have it. But I don't really want to worry about making more of them right now. Did I check if I could pick you up? Yes, I did. And no, I can't. Okay. Interesting. Let's hop over here and see if we can't get on this catapult turret again. Okay, that was weird. I still can't click anything. I still can't. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go see if I can't look at the wiki or see if I can figure out how to get this guy to shoot. And I'll bring you guys back to let you know. Okay? I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So I went ahead and put another guy here just hoping that maybe it was because I need to put it on actual structures. But no. I even looked up, saw a video of somebody being able to shoot this guy, and I can't seem to get it to work. I'll, I'll show you here. So I, I was going and making sure that I did, like took him back out, put him back in, just to kind of see here, uh, do a little mounting, and I, you can actually hear it like it's empty and trying to shoot when I left click, but... Yeah, it's not empty. It has something here. I hope I'm just not being stupid and dumb about something, but I don't see any other place to put it. Any place that, uh, yeah. Any place where you can put it to make it fire. Let's see, can I... Yeah, there's no load or weird stuff like that. Okay, just grab you out, maybe mount it. Okay. Yeah, it still has the empty thing, because right now it is empty. And it's still reading as empty. R won't do a reload. I've tried, like, every button I can think of, and nothing. Oh, well, that's... That's, a uh, That's middle mouse buttoning. It's an interesting view of things. Okay, yeah, I really want to try this guy out and see what he will do, but it just won't work. Okay, well, I went ahead and made some more cannons too, so that we could finish off this wall. So one more hit shouldn't do it, we'll probably need one last guy to finish it off, but we will fire! Yep, not yet. One more, and we will be able to destroy... The dark wood. I'm trying to remember about how many we had to use. I think six of them to take down one little section. So let's fire in the hole. Okay, we have done it. And it seems to take out a decent sized area. Not really sure how big of an area because we didn't build uh, a big enough wall. But maybe sometime we'll check out and see just how big of an area be really really nice I just want to try kind of check at something here so they do 900 damage how much 
Okay, you're 15,000. I was gonna say, that would be crazy if it took out a stone behemoth gate really quickly. But it would take uh, even more so to take out one of you guys. So the cannon is definitely cool. And I'd say it's definitely one of those for PvP especially. Or, you, you know, you could just make them as a very cool aesthetic piece to your base. I might go ahead and make two more of them to put up there. Just because they will look awesome and amazing. And maybe one more of the catapults to go in the center of it as well. Not sure. And hopefully I can figure out how to get this guy to work. If I can figure out why he's not working, then I'll show you guys how this guy uh, shoots and everything in another episode. Hopefully we can get him to work here soon. Maybe he just needs a server restart or something. Yeah, but we will uh, we'll, we'll try what we can and see if we can figure it out. And I think that's going to be it for, it for today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long and prosper!